Hi everyone, it's that time of the week again where we're going to chip away at the year two common exception words and if you've got a minute or two, you can have a go at set three of our speedy spellers. Are you ready to see if you can recognise the correct spellings of some of our common exception words? You know what to do, shout out the number of the correct spelling. Let's go. Which one is the right way to spell told? T-O-L-D. This has got a word inside a word. Remember Mrs G is teaching you to look for that to help you spell them. Told, told. Number one, number two, and number three. Oh, that's it. It's number three. If you take the t away, we've got the word old. T O L D. Fantastic. Which one is the right way to spell parents? Now this is a really unfair and tricky and mischievous word because it doesn't sound like it looks at all. It's really tricky. And we haven't done this one in class yet. But you can watch this video more than once. That's why we do them. It's good to practice. Do you think it's number one, number two, or number three? Have you ever read a letter that we send home that says Dear Parents on it? It's actually number two. P-A-R-E-N-T-S. Looks like it should say parents, doesn't it? Which one is the right way to spell water? Now we've done the wo 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 sound in class recently, so let me sound it out for you. What er what er? And in, we like to pretend to be French and say water to help us remember in class, don't we? Is it number one, number two, or number three? <gasps> there it is. It's number one. W A. I want the wasp. T E R. Well done. Ah, we've seen this in word in maths, haven't we? When we did halves of shapes, half when we divided by two, and uh, when we cut things into half, we've seen this word. Do you remember how to spell it? Again, it doesn't look like it sounds at all. We just need to remember this one. Half. Think back to when you saw Mrs G write it on the board. Is it number one, number two, or number three? That's it, number two. H-A-L-F. Fantastic. Which one is the right way to spell door? Door. Now there are a few words in our year two common exception words that have a trigraph making the or sound. Door on the floor, or. Do you know, have you ever seen that word before? You might have read it in a book. Is it number one, number two, or number three? It's number three. D double O R because double O R makes the or sound in words like door, floor and poor. Well done if you spotted that one. Last one of this set today, who. Question word who. Again, a really sneaky, mischievous little word because it sounds like it should start with a when you write it. Hit what am I going to say? It, it would be very easy if that was the case. If you ever watch Doctor Who, might be easier than I think it is. Do you think it's number one, number two, or number three? That's it, it's number two, W-H-O. Leave me a like if you'll be checking out set four and you're going to be a super speller by the end of the year. Bye for now.